youth across the country have been called upon to first seek self-sustainability and integrity in their bid to occupy leadership position. The call was made in Benin City, the Edo Intergenerational Dialogue, the prevalence of social vices in our society, state capital at the Youth Empowerment Summit, organized by Indomitable Youth Organization. Theme, Intergenerational Dialogue, the prevalence of social vices as part of events to commemorate this year's International Youth Day. Speaking shortly after the event, stakeholders said it was an opportunity to raise awareness about the challenges and problems faced by youths as they are the hope of all nations across the globe. A young person should wake up to their responsibility, leaving the shafts and facing the real issue. First of all, build your capacity. Build yourself academically, morally, and get ready for the business. Look at start on somewhere. You don't climb the tree from the top. I say some young person working on the want to become a governor, you want to become a president, when you cannot even contest a youth leader in your streets. So I think integrity is one of the major things we must take, take home from this program. The most important part of the society is the family. Because every one of us belongs to a family. So if we have a sane family, then we have a sane society. So if we have sane persons here who have already taken up the ambition to make impact, then we have taken a step forward. And in no distance time, we begin to read the positive results. Our take home today is that we should begin to, you know, redirect our minds. As young people, even as parents, the values that you know we do not pass on to our children, it will be very difficult for them to begin when they get to that age of being a youth to begin to exhibit those values. So as they are growing up, even as babies, you begin to inculcate these values that you want in them. The integrity, you know, being accountable, being responsible, adding value in any way they find themselves. I believe so much that the youth would be uh, able to do what is expected of them in the future. Let the right environment just uh, be. But painfully, our leaders are making the environment unconducive, making the youth being in cage so that they will keep begging for water, they will keep begging for food, they keep begging for everything that they should have gotten. If they have their way, they will also make the youth beg for oxygen. But Here today, I've been informed. And as an informed person, I'm not supposed to keep it inside of me. Keeping it inside of me is as good as useless. Nobody is going to hear. It's not everybody, not all the youth out there that attended this program today. So me going home is that whenever I get to where I'm going, I would speak to one or two persons. This is what you're supposed to do as a youth. This is what you're not supposed to do as a youth. So that's what I plan on doing, informing others. And with this, I believe we'll reach as many persons as possible and we'll right our wrong. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.